everybody, welcome to another edition of Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan, and today we're going to be talking all about outdoor speakers. Uh, sometimes they have words like waterproof or weather resistant tied to them. I'm going to explain a little bit more about uh, IP ratings and what that means and uh, how you can make heads or tails of that when selecting your outdoor speaker. Alright, so when you're selecting your uh, outdoor speaker, there's some things we need to think through, like if it's going to be exposed to uh, hot temperatures or wind or humidity or UV radiation, because at the end of the day, lots of speakers don't like to see things like that. But what I've done here is gathered together some of our favorite all-weather speakers, uh, so we can talk a little bit more about the differences between them and also how the uh, IP system works. So the question comes up, what do these IP ratings mean? On the cut sheets of all these speakers here, you'll see an IP and then a series of numbers. Uh, IP stands for ingress protection. So Nathan, what in the world is ingress protection? Ingress basically means things going in, into the grill of the speaker. Uh, so the IP rating basically determines uh, how tight it is on the grill as far as what it allows to penetrate through it. This was actually invented by the IEC, the International Electrotechnical Commission, uh, which is basically an, a global international body that governs electronics and technology. Uh, that basically means with any IP rating, you can expect different speakers to perform the same way and have the same level of build quality and construction as far as what they'll allow through the front grill. So I'm gonna quickly go over the IP ratings with you guys. IP ratings are normally written in an IPXX format. The first X represents the numerical scoring of the speaker's ability to protect against foreign solid objects, like dust. And the second X represents the uh, ability to protect against liquids such as water. They're both scaled um, from like one to six, one being the least amount of protection, six being the highest amount of protection. So with that first digit, you've got solid object protection. With a one, uh, basically it's protected against a solid object greater than two inches. You know, two inches being that, they're about that size. So anything um, smaller than two inches, the speaker grill will not protect from. Uh, up to two, anything uh, greater than half an inch, like a finger, will be allowed to fit through. You know, that's a pretty big hole allowing a lot of space to go through. Uh, three, any solid object um, greater or rough, really, roughly 0.1 inches, like a small tool. Um, now we're starting to get pretty compact as far as what's being allowed through. A four, uh, anything greater than one millimeter, like a piece of wire. Five, fine as dust for up to two to eight hours. And then six uh, in the first digit means that the speaker grill is, and the speaker itself is fully dust tight, will not allow dust through. Uh, the second uh, digit is all about liquid ingress protection. Uh, what amount of water will it allow through? Um, a one, which is once again the lowest on the scale, allows dripping water, light falling rain and condensation. That's the least amount of protection uh, with an IP uh, one rating on the second digit. Uh, that might be okay with the speaker underneath an eave, but anything greater than that where it's gonna get wet, we want something more um, strenuous in protection. Um, the second digit with a two, that means it's okay for light rain, tilted at like a 15 degree angle. Uh, three, that's water sprays up to 60 degrees, 60 degrees approximately, uh, you know, rain or spray. Once again, still light is what uh, the speaker is going to allow. A second digit of four means splashes from any and all directions. That means the speaker can point up, speaker can point down, water can be coming from any direction and still be okay. Uh, five means low pressure jets from a nozzle. That means you can actually directly have rain going straight into the speaker grill or uh, a low pressure jet, you know, maybe a, a water hose on low kind of thing and the speaker can t still take it. Uh, the second digit of six means high pressure jets from a nozzle um, from any angle. That means uh, I wouldn't recommend it, but you can spray a water, uh, you know, water jet straight into it, your water hose, uh, your pressure washer. The second digit of seven means full immersion for up to 30 minutes of depths between six and uh, six inches and three feet of water. That means the speaker can go in the water. That doesn't come up uh, that often, but it does still exist. Also, there is a second digit of eight, which means it can go extremely underneath high pressure underwater. Most of the time, we don't have speakers that d do that. And then a second digit of nine means high pressure jets while underwater. Uh, 
realistically, we're not going to see that all that often, guys, and speakers, um, unless it's a very specialized application. So it should be noted, though, that a higher IP rating doesn't necessarily mean it's best suited for uh, outdoor use. There's different applications that we'll get into where things don't quite mean that you want the ultimate in IP protection in every situation. IP ratings are useful though, and I'm glad they exist, but they aren't the only thing that we want to pay attention to. We also want to take into consideration uh, what kind of mounts we have, what the mounts are made out of, and that kind of thing when determining what speaker is most appropriate for you. So let's dive into what weather protection ratings we have here. First, we have the Atlas SM52T. Um, it has uh, basically a five-year warranty, weather-resistant construction uh, so for indoor or outdoor, and also beyond its IP rating, this Atlas speaker is also tested for salt spray testing, which means not only is it good for uh, just water, but it actually has been subjected to an additional uh, review of salt being sprayed on it. So that means it's going to be a little bit better for side of a cruise ship or closer to the ocean, uh, where some of the other speakers may only want to be around more of like fresh water kind of thing. We also um, don't only have all weather uh, surface mount speakers, we also have an uh, all weather pendant speaker here, uh, which is the Sound Tube RS62EZ, which is weather resistant um, and it basically has weatherized components, including the hanging kit, um, to where it's going to be built to keep moisture out as well. From here, we move it on over to the community R.5-94Z. See this very often at um, water parks, stadiums, uh, ball fields, rodeo arenas, things like that. Um, it is IP55 rated. Uh, IP55 meaning protection against dust for two to eight hours and then also protection from uh, low pressure jets. Uh, so it can definitely get rained on. It's also designed tight to keep things out uh, and to be built you know, rock solid for many years to come there. Here we have the, the uh, Apart Audio owned by Biamp Mask uh, 6C, which is IP64 rated, so for indoor or out, outdoor use. 64 meaning it can take high pressure jets, um, or it's fully dust tight, uh, meaning you know no dust gets into the speaker itself, but it's uh, only rated for water splashes. So if it's going to be in direct path of water, you know, a, a car wash or something like that, it may not be the right speaker for you. Um, and then over here, we have the uh, One Systems 106.hth. It also has uh, marine grade steel, so it's designed to be able to, uh, you know, once again be near the water if needed. And it also carries a uh, IP56 rating, meaning that it'll take, uh, you know, as far as dust goes, it may not be dust tight, but more importantly, it'll take direct high pressure jets. Uh, meaning that once again, we can put that inside of a water park, we can put that inside of um, car wash, things like that, uh, and, and not worry about it. So basically, that kind of shows you the differences between these two. You know, with, with the Apart, uh, yeah, it's, it's dust proof, but you don't want to be spraying water right on it. With the One Systems, may not be dust proof, but then again, you can go ahead and let it get a little bit more wet. Uh, hopefully that clarifies that even though these are all all-weather speakers, they may not necessarily be waterproof, which a lot of people, you know, kind of look for in a speaker. Um, if this is all a little bit confusing and you're not sure exactly what kind of speaker you need, feel free to reach out to us at www.proacousticsusa.com. Uh, drop us a like down below, let us know if you're watching or if there's any topics we can help with. Once again, I'm Nathan, and uh, until next time, guys.